Again, what sound does a Star Wars blaster make? Pew, 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 pew. It'll sound better on the video. Okay, <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see here. Okay, so we're going to start off with some easy ones here, you guys. So we already discussed this one last time, right? You're going to see this one on the test for next time. Um, so probably flipping three coins and getting the outcome to be exactly like tails, tails, heads, or heads, heads, tails, or heads, tails, heads. They're all the same. There's only one way to do that specific event out of all eight different ways. Right? Right? Will you guys freak out if I do four coins on the test? No, not really. How many different combinations would there be with four coins? Two times two is four times two is... Extra credit, Ashley! She said 16. She said 16. Woo! So eighth period, I want you to go ahead and say hi to um, fifth period. Ready? Immortalized. Does anybody want to say a special hi? Do you know anybody in fifth period? No? Hi, Gil. 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 Hi, Hi, Alexis. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley is your table buddy from three hours ago. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we're actually going to jump to these ones because we haven't really covered these ones too much in the other videos. So we'll start off with an easy one first. We'll give an extra credit point. There we go. Okay, for Ashley. Okay, so number 32. Raise your hand. Extra credit. Reviewing for a test still. Because it's a pretty big test, lots of questions. So what's the probability of drawing a heart? Go to Parker. Whoa. And is that because, is that because you counted? One, two, three, four, five, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are 13 hearts, you guys, right? 13 hearts. And because Parker got it right, 13 hearts, he gets to use my special Valentine's Day flower wand. Woo! There you go. Yeah. It's been quarantined this whole time. Don't you worry. Nice and sanitized. Okay, here we go. So that's going to be 13 out of 52 cards. Make sense? Let's do some harder ones now. So what about, raise your hand, what about drawing a six? What's the probability of drawing a six? Drawing a six. Go and raise your hand. Zach. Both of you got to write extra credit, extra credit. So that's four out of 52, right? Because there's four sixes, isn't there? Or one thirteenth. Good job. Now, some of them are reduced, so you do need to know how to reduce them because some of them are going to be reduced. Not a lot of them, but some of them. But some of them. Okay, beautiful. So what about drawing a red card given that I already drew a black card? Ooh. Go ahead, Dallin. Say that again. So there's 13 red or black. Let's, th let's think about it, Dallin. Let's think about it. So probably drawing a red card, right, Dallin? So Dallin, how many red cards are in the deck? There's 13 of them, right? Or is there more red cards? 13 No, you got this, Dallin. I'm staying with you. I'm staying with you. That's okay. That's okay. Kimberly. Is it 26, you guys? Good. So 26 red cards, you guys. And then the black card is gone. It's already drawn. So that's why the given has to be subtracted off or divided off because it's already been given. So we'll take one off. And that's the right answer on the practice test. And that's the right answer on the test. On the test. Red card, black card. 26 out of 51. 
Because there's 26 red cards. This is a question number 33, you guys. Right? Probably drawing a red card given that a black card is gone. Already drawn. So there's only 51 cards left in the deck because the black card is gone. But there's still 26 out of that 51. Does that make sense? Are you sure? Does it make sense? Kind of? No? I'll have to do a magic trick soon because you guys are looking tired already. Okay, so... <laughs> nice. Okay, so here we go. Beautiful. Okay, so what about the probability of drawing six of hearts and drawing a jack of diamonds? This is drawing them in a row, one after the other, without replacing that six of hearts. Do you have a guess, Kenzie or Annabelle or Tayton? We'll have Parker as your backup in case either of you guys don't know how to do that one or what the answer is. What's that, 35? Good guess. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're asking what questions? Question 35 are on. Sorry, Tayton. Sure. Oh, so you got to take one. Oh, you guys, you got to take one at a time. So the probability of getting six of hearts, there's only one. There's only one six of hearts, you guys, out of 52 cards. Nice. That's going to be a multiple choice answer, you guys. A multiple choice answer on the test. Right, Adria? Ashley, you got this. Woo! Ashley, do you have a younger sister that goes here? Because I have somebody else named Watson in my financial literacy class. I just emailed her like, oh, are you sister named Ashley? Because she goes to Weaver High. And her last name's Watson. There's a couple more Watsons that like, are not even related to all. No way. You'll have to do genealogy maybe way back when. Ah, there you go. Right? Okay, beautiful. So 1 out of 52, you guys, times 1 out of 51 is the correct answer. You're going to see that one on the test. Going to see that one on the test. You sure that makes sense? Tayden, Tayden, Tate, Tater, Ellie, Rachel. You sure, Ra Rachel? You sure that makes sense? There's only one six, out of, six hearts out of 52, 52 cards in a deck. Times the next one you draw is Jack of Diamonds, only one of those. Only one Jack of Diamonds. Out of only 51 cards left in the deck, right? Because the six of hearts is now gone. It's now gone. So you got to do 52 minus 1. So 51. Okay, beautiful. Okay, here we go. So what are some other ones maybe you struggled with? We'll go ahead and pause this for a second. What a good choice. Thanks, 8th period. So 44. <laughs> This is what we're going to be looking at next. Were you guys blown away by that magic trick? Whoa, blown away. Okay, so number 44 says, in a company, 90% of employees offer medical insurance. Right? The other 10% is like my wife, who works for Bucks Hill School District, but she has insurance through me, so she does not opt for them. Because her premiums as a teacher's aide would be 900 or 800 a month. And who can afford a plan on that much? She only makes like half that, or she makes 1800 I think. So half her wage has to go. To, so 90% opt for medical insurance, 64% opt for life insurance, and 96.4% will opt for at least one of them, one or the other or both. So in some way, these insurance companies got us because we got to have some kind of insurance. Nice. Okay, so the question is, what percent of employees offer both of these benefits? Both of them, right? What percent of employees offer both? So both means, do you guys remember what both even means? Do you remember Dawson, Ben? What does both even mean? Ethan, what does both mean? The words and in there, good, and. The, it is a union problem. Extra credit, Dawson. So it's a union problem, um, but what do, which one of this part of the picture here, Dawson, would be um, would be mean both? Yeah, 